വെൽക്കം ടു ദ തേർഡ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ഇൻ എസ് എസ് ടു ഹ്യൂമൺ റിസോഴ്സ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഐ നോ ദറ്റ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് യു ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി ലിസൺഡ് ഇസ് ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് ഇൻ വിക്ടേഴ്സ് ചാനൽ ബട്ട് സം ഓഫ് യുവർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് നീഡ് ടു ഹിയർ ദ ചാപ്റ്റർ ഇൻ മൈ വോയ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻ മൈ ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ so let me explain the important points of the chapter first of all we should know what is human resource simply it is the people are the human resource or the people of the of a country is considered as the wealth of that country human resource is the set of the people who make up the workforce of an organization industry or an economy you are very familiar with many people who engage in different kinds of jobs around you let's complete the table look at the screen let's complete the table given there people's power or manpower is very important for the progress of any country or any society here is a definition for you what is human resource human resource refers to people who have the manpower which can be utilized in the production sector let me again human resource refers to people who have the manpower which can be utilized in the production sector for the development of a country this manpower or the people's power should be developed people's physical and mental development must be ensured for the growth of a nation so human resource development is very important in related with the progress of a country let's define human resource development look at the screen human resource development is the development of man's physical and mental abilities through education healthcare and training again human resource development is the development of man's physical and mental abilities through education healthcare and training look at the screen these are the different levels of human resource development that are based on four factors they are individuals family institutions and agencies and nation how they works individuals take efforts to development their own skills family creates an environment for the development of the potentials of individuals the institutions and agencies provide facilities for education and training nation provides the necessary facilities for its people to develop their skills these are the different levels of human resource development from the individual to the nation let's examine the chart given there these are the features of human resources mainly it can be divided into two quantitative feature and qualitative feature the quantitative feature includes size of the population density of population growth of population and structure of population so the size density growth and structure of the population are considered as the qualitative features sorry quantitative features then qualitative features education and health care let's explain one by one the size of the population includes the number of people residing in a country at a particular time 
So here we should know a branch of science that is demography. It is the branch of social science that analyzes the population, the change in its size, its structural aspects, etc. Let me again, demography is the branch of science that analyzes the population, the changes in its size, its structural aspects, etc. Another important point related with the size of the population is population census. The census is conducted once in 10 years in India and the last census was conducted in 2011. The number of people in a country, their age, sex, socio-economic status and analyzes these at specific intervals of time is considered as population census. And this activity is conducted under the leadership of the Population Registrar's General and Census Commissioner. According to the Population, sorry, Census Report of 2011, Indian population is 121.02 crore and out of this 58.65 crore are females and 62.37 crore are males. The scope and importance of the population studies should also be discussed here. It helps the government to quantitatively assess the different needs of the people to plan activities and programs. Informs the availability of the human resource development in a country depicts the extent of basic facilities required by the people, quantifies the goods and services required, determines the socio-economic development policies. According to the UN report 2014, the world population is 724.4 crore. China ranks the first in position with 19.4% and India ranks second. It has been proved by the experience of the countries like USA, Japan and China that a nation attain high economic development through better human resource development. The second quantitative feature of human resource is density of population. Density of population refers to the number of people per square kilometer area. The third feature is population growth or growth of population. Population growth refers to the increase in number of people in an area within specific period of time. Look at the screen. Examine the table given there. There are three factors that influence the number of population. They are birth rate, which means the number of live births per thousand. Second, death rate, the number of deaths per thousand. Third is migration, which is the settlement of the people of a region in another region. These are the three factors that influence the number of people or population of a country and here is a chart for you that explains how these factors influence the population but when the birth rate increases and the death rate decreases that results into the increase of the population when the birth rate decreases and the death rate increases that results into the decline of the population and uh, when birth rate and death rate are equal, there will not be any change in the population. Then how the migration affects population increases in one region but decreases in another region. So these are the factors that influence the population of a country. The last point related with the quantitative feature 
that is the structure of population age structure and sex structure are the classification of the population for example classification is done in age groups like 0 to 14 15 to 59 and 60 and above here we should learn more about uh, three important uh, factors they are one participation rate second is dependency ratio and third is sex ratio let's consider one that is participation rate it is the ratio of the population in the age, age group of 15 to 59 who are either employed or actively looking for jobs. This age group has the capacity to contribute to the progress of the nation. And uh, dependency rate is the, the proportion of the age group 0 to 14 and 60 years and above in the total population is known as dependency ratio. This group depends on the working force of the country. And the third factor is sex ratio. According to the census 2011, the sex ratio in India is 940. Sex ratio is the number of females per 1000 males. Then we are going to discuss the qualitative aspects of human resource. Look at the screen. These are the qualitative aspects. Education, healthcare, training, social capital. Then you can add environment. Better environment, etc. Let's look at the diagram given there. How the improved human resources offer human resource development of a country. The diagram explains it. When the human resource improves, economic inequality is reduced, natural resources utilized effectively makes possible the development and use of the advanced technology. Social welfare is ensured. Entrepreneurship improves. Productivity of the workers increases. Here we explain two important factors that uh, improve the human resource. They are education and uh, health care. The first point is education. Here is a flow chart that explains how education ensures the human development. Look at the screen and find the details. Here is a table about the literary, literacy rate of India. Literacy rate is the percentage of the population that can read and write with comprehension. Look at the screen. There gives the different kinds of projects implemented in India to develop education and skills. Read it carefully and uh, find its importance. In addition to these projects, many schools, colleges, universities, universities, technical education institutions are also established for the development of the education. And in 2009, our country declared the right of education act the constitution ensures the goal of elementary education for all through rte that is right to education act but many problems still exist in education sector in india they are one certain sections drop out from schools without completing primary education there is a lack of availability of the basic facilities in the education sector and quality of education has to be improved and more. 
and uh, let's discuss the details of the importance of health care in related with the human resource development according to the world health organization health is a state of physical mental and social well being along with the physical conditions importance is given to mental and social conditions as well it is the government's responsibility to ensure health care for women look at the screen these are the ways through which the healthy persons can participate in the progress of a country production increases with the increase in the efficiency and the number of working days nature resources can be utilized properly medical expense can be reduced thereby reducing the government's expenditure economic development is possible through increase in production here is a list of facilities that must be provided to ensure health care the screen gives the details of the government institutions that work at different levels in the medical sector we have various hospitals in cooperative and private sector also many multi specialty hospitals operate to make available modern treatment facilities there are several institutions which provide different systems of medicine like ayurveda yoga naturopathy yunani siddha and homeopathy look the screen again there are two important facilities offered by the government they are nrhm national rural health mission they operates in rural sector and the next is national urban health mission provides improved health services to the residents of urban slums and other marginalized people in towns with a population of more than 50000 as a result of these programs and activities provided by the country the life expectancy in india has been improved observe the table life expectancy is the expected average years of life of a person lives